Last thing on the driver is ZXP Toolbox. When you click on it, it's going to take a couple of seconds before launching. And the first screen you're going to see is a screen with basically information on the printer. Some are repetition as before, like the firmware, driver, and so on. It tells you that it's a USB interface, you have the serial number, how it is set up, so basically PVC high core. And uh, you have the option, like there is a magnetic encoding, there is a MyFair, there is also a contact a smart card on this printer, there is no lamination. And for the cat which has been selected, you have here repetition of speed in and out for the card and the temperature for the top and bottom transfer rollers. Get information about the network configuration, like the IP address, uh, gateway, and so on. You have the number of cards which has been printed by the printer, and we count also here the number of lines the printer has been printed. On the operating control panel, or CP, it's set up as in English with a contrast at 38. So here, just information, no way to change anything. You have, next one, printer sensor. It's going to tell you the sensors about uh, the printer. It's a little bit dynamic, so depending, for example, the temperature here, you can have uh, some uh, changes, okay, depending basically uh, what you do with the printer and so on. And just to be sure that you print with the yellow panel, you should have here the tri-color state, which is the uh, color sensor, it should show you yellow panel. So you know that the next panel to be printed on the next card will be the yellow panel, which is okay, the good sequence, yellow, magenta, cyan, and so on. Again, here, information. More information for the media. It's not uh, visual uh, with bar here, just information with numbers. Again, type of uh, ribbon, okay, type of uh, transfer film, how many cards... Uh, we have been printing and model and so on. Basically, it's pure information. In configuration, we are going to have back here a second time the way to modify a little bit the printing compared to what the driver is sending to the printer. So, the same as before, you move the slider and you are going to change and see directly in the preview what. Uh, those changes uh, are going to do on the final result. Here again, click on Restore Default if you want to go back. Job Log, very interesting one, where you can record on a text file everything the printer is doing, and you can select the parameters or the information you would like to see on that inside this file. So. If you want to uh, use a job log, select, select uh, enable uh, logging. You can select, for example, to create a new log file each day. So that will be his name. Okay, it's a text file. And you can here, for example, select text, date, print a serial number, static text like uh, test or whatever. You have, uh, I think, uh, 16 characters there. Plus, eventually, your username. And when you click here on uh, Save Job Log Settings, Automatically, when you are going to print, all the information you selected here will be added to this log file. So at the end of the day, at the end of the week or whatever, you can retrieve that log file and you will have a list of who did what, when and so on regarding uh, printing with this printer. Okay. And they are all stored in C document setting, all user Z motive directory. That's for the log file. If you don't want it, just unselect it. Save and restore. You can, for the driver and the printer settings, save them and they are going to be saved on this location. Very convenient to do that, especially when you give a uh, new printer to a customer. When everything is okay, just save both. Give a name there. And then, automatically, you will have all the parameters from the driver and from the printer saved somewhere on the hard disk, here actually. So, if for any reason the customer calls you and say, you know, I did something in the driver, I'm a little bit lost here, just fire up ZXP Toolbox, go in Save Restore, now click on Restore, 
for the driver and for the printer setting, select the one you uh, saved previously and automatically you are going to get back the uh, drivers and the printer settings as you left them when you give the printer to the customer. There is also a second advantage is when you have a uh, location with multiple printer. So you just concentrate on setting one printer with your customer and again the colors he wishes okay how you want to print the uv the inhibitor blah 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 when everything is okay save them driver and printer now retrieve them from here put them on a usb uh, pen drive now you go to the next pc and the third pc and so on and you just restore them from your usb key and automatically second printer, third printer and so on will have exactly the same parameters as the first one. So that saves you to do the job x time if you have x printers you just do the job one and once and after you repeat everything everywhere.